Okay, cool. So we've got a, our first electronic assisted bike. Uh, this is my first time on one. I uh, haven't done this before and I've got no idea how this works. So we're going to try and figure it out with you guys uh, exactly what to do here. You can see there's a display screen. I take it once it's on, it'll give some info there. There's a cycling button there, so I would assume that's going to turn the monstrosity on. Nothing is happening, so it's maybe not that. Oh, there's a power button on the other side. Pushing that gets the screen going. Uh, I'm going zero k's an hour. You'll see it's a it's a brisk uh, 39 degrees out. Uh, battery is showing 85 k's left in it. I'll just have to pedal the last 30 or so. Um, other than that, there's a light switch. There's some stuff here. Figure it out as we go along. Let's see how far we get. Okay, so gotta watch. Once you start pedaling, there's definitely the motor kicks in, and there's a there's a definite uptake in power. Feels a little bit superficial at this stage, like some of those YouTube videos that uh, the guys put on fast forward. Click up a gear or two here, because we're already going 17 and a half k's an hour. I'm ba barely pedaling. This is nice. I can get used to this. So cool. I'm out on the trail pedaling I would say minimal effort gonna have to pause because I see there's a guy with a wheelbarrow on the trail looks like the new 14 inch wheelbarrow when you're in the twisties you got to be careful as soon as you pedal the bike actually does gain momentum fairly quick so um, be careful where you pedal even just putting a foot out actually um, does give it a bit of a, a jump ahead so first bit of first a straight stretch going along uh, can't really watch I'll check now what speed we're doing feels we're doing a cool 20 k's an hour with almost zero effort from my side okay I'm pulling away right here so pedaling it up here I'm in the wrong gear but I, I managed to keep going because the, uh, the bike is helping me there we go how's it guys Okay, down the other side, feels like a normal bike, you just let it run, nothing funny there. 12, 25.2 k's an hour, let's see, at the moment it's not really feeling any heavier than a normal bike. Feels a little bit under damped for this, have to um, spend some time on the shock, or the fork rather. Okay, quite a cool trail, our first water crossing. Again, when you turn like that, just be mindful that you don't pit sort of mid-stroke or mid-corner. Get your outside foot down. Because it does genuinely give the bike like a jump forward. A lot of tough clay going through there. Let's see if we go through the rocks. It's like, nah. Not so nice. Well, fork undersprung. So not, uh, no real performance from that the main difference here is obviously how quickly the bike picks up momentum and speed which is quite nice you can get up to uh, cruising speed without much effort so I'm doing 15k 14.8 15k an hour a couple of pedal strokes 25 26 Sort of hovering around 26 k's an hour. Yeehaw! I'm at the finish line. Made it. My first e bike. Um, doesn't really feel heavy in what, what I did now. I um, must say, when you're pedaling along like this, there's, there's very little interference. Um, once you do stomp on the pedals, there's, a, there's an extra fast forward that kicks in there quite fun.